Hey guys, today's video is gonna be about breaking free your inner prisoners and kicking some serious ass. What are your inner prisoners? Well, I'm sure that there are a lot, but in this video, I'm going to be talking about five specifically. I want to clarify that there are two types of prisoners. There are the guilty ones and the innocent ones. Now, both of these prisoners are locked in deep inside you and are preventing you from being able to accomplish something that you want to accomplish. However, the, the guilty prisoners are things that are locked in inside of you that shouldn't be. They should be free, let go, and you shouldn't depend on them, you shouldn't listen to them at all. And then there's the innocent ones, which are also deep within you, but are but should be shining through instead. And you should definitely be paying attention to them, but right now they're locked in deep within you and you can't seem to bring them out. The first type of prisoner is confidence. And what I'm gonna say about this is frankly, you just need to go out there and get shit done. Because fear is always going to be there, no matter what. It's always gonna be inside of you and you can't get rid of it. However, you can choose to have your confidence completely overpower that fear. You need to make that decision because right now, here's confidence, right? And then over here you have fear of failure, self-doubt, insecurity, and all of these other crappy feelings that you wish didn't exist, they're all covering confidence up. So it's in you, even though it feels like it doesn't, it's right there. It's just that you have all these other feelings that are completely covering it up. So your job is to say, I choose to let confidence shine out. So even though, even if it's just one little part that goes away, like let's say that you no longer decide to let self-doubt rule you, then just that one little inch of confidence that shines through is enough. You need to learn to trust that everything is going to be okay in the end. No matter how freaking scary things seem, in the end, things will always be in your favor. One thing that you can ask yourself when you're struggling with taking a big leap because your confidence is hidden between all these other shitty stuff, you can ask yourself, what would I do if I weren't afraid? So you need to put yourself in that state, pretend like you're not terrified of anything in the world and take that leap. Make the decision to do that thing you're terribly afraid of. Prisoner number two is closed-mindedness. So sometimes things happen in the world that are too weird or different for us to comprehend. But frankly, if you wanna succeed in this world, you have to be open to everything and anything that comes your way. No matter how weird or different an opportunity might seem, you need to be willing to grasp it, no matter how uncomfortable you may be. Because if that thing is going to help you succeed, then you need to be willing to accept it no matter what. Things are going to constantly be changing and you need to be able to adapt quickly. You can't just stay behind and stay in that closed-mindedness or else you're not gonna move forward, you know? So please be open-minded to anything that comes your way. The third prisoner is self-love. Now, obviously I'm a huge advocate of self-love. I think everybody deserves to love every single part of themselves. But, so here's the thing about self-love. For example, I want a toned stomach. So what I do in order to get there, I eat healthy sometimes and I work out. But here's the thing, about self-love. It's that you are allowed to want to change your body. You're allowed to dye your hair. You can lose or gain weight. You can get a nose job if you want, if you're not satisfied with that part of your face and go ahead and, and get it. But even though I want a toned stomach, like that's the body that I, I, I want to have, it does not mean that I despise the one that I have right now. I'm going to work in order to get to where, to where I wanna be, but right now I'm going to appreciate my body. I'm not going to look at myself in the mirror and say, 
God, I look disgusting. I'm still going to love myself even though I want to change. So even if you want to change, you just, you shouldn't despise the body you have now, but there's nothing wrong with changing. I'm not going to hate my body for not being the one that I envision. I'm just gonna do something about it. The fourth prisoner is jealousy. Now jealousy only does one thing. It wastes our freaking time. We are all meant to live absolutely different lives. We are meant to inspire different people, touch different lives. We were created as individuals. You know, we all have this different path that we need to take. And so I think that jealousy is really dumb because, for example, um, there are some 16, 17, 18 year olds out there who are already millionaires. They've got hundreds of thousands of followers. And yes, sometimes I do envy them because I'm still working on it, but there's no point in it at all. That person worked hard to get to, to where they, they are now. They are meant to be living that life. And I will reach my goal when it is my time to reach my goal. Even though it seems that everyone has their life figured out on social media, that's probably not the case at all. You will figure out your life eventually. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter how long it will be until you do or how that will happen. The point is that you will, and that's all that matters. So let go of envy and instead go out and actually do the things that will get you to where you want to be. The fifth and final prisoner is trust. You need to be able to trust that the universe or God or whatever it is that you believe in has a plan for you, that they're that they're not throwing all these obstacles at you because they despise you. All of these hardships and obstacles that come into our lives are there for a reason. They are teaching us something, they are making us grow stronger. You need to learn to appreciate those, those hardships even though they really suck. You need to trust that there's this great destination that I'm gonna say the universe because that's what I believe in. You need to trust that the universe has this great goal for you and that you're going to get there eventually. There's this quote that says, I don't know how, but I will. And I absolutely love it. It's something that I remind myself of every day because I'm 19. Even though I do have a lot of goals and some things that I have that I want to achieve, a lot of the time I'm confused. You know, I'm like, maybe this isn't for me or maybe it is. And I change my, my mind constantly, but I trust that in the end, I will be where I need to be if I just pursue the things that make me happy. So finally, just remember, let your confidence shine through. Let go of self-doubt and all those crappy feelings. Be open to anything new that comes your way. Love yourself completely. Let go of envy and instead go and do the things that will get you to where you want to be. And finally, trust that the universe has a plan for you. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends you can find more awesome blog posts and videos at eatsiana.com or follow me in my social media accounts where the links are going to be down below thank you again bye